be on for us too. So all things that we are going to have to know. Heat across the Gulf of Mexico, that's the reason that it's going to be strengthening up there. And I actually have family that lives in Austin, and they have already started to see those flooded roadways. So again, if you have any family down there, call them, make sure that they're okay and they're safe. We're not going to be looking at any impacts from any sort of rain, any sort of hurricanes. Unfortunately, we would love some rain to cool us down a little bit because everybody across the West Coast is feeling this oppressive heat. It is really interesting to see that Redding, California, Northern California has a forecast high temperature today 118 look at the forecast high temperature in phoenix arizona 115 degrees so we are feeling hotter in california than they are in arizona we all though have these excessive heat warnings and watches that will remain in effect all the way through the rest of the weekend and into next week that includes us all across the bay area excessive heat warnings through wednesday although it is going to get a lot more comfortable over the next 24 to 48 hours so good news is on the way as this fog this marine layer continues to roll through what a beautiful sight this morning if you're awake right now you might be shrouded in that cloud deck, but if you maybe have the chance to enjoy the sunrise, I don't blame you. It is going to be our coastal communities that are seeing this thicker, dense fog, but it's even moving into the bay areas as well. The further inland it goes, the better it is for keeping us cooler this afternoon. Unfortunately, it's not going to stick around much longer than this morning, and most of that uh, fog will begin to pull back a little bit, but it might stick around our San Francisco Bay areas, especially closer to the coast. Again, something to keep in mind, and we are going to be seeing it continue into the late night hours as well. But again, we are going to be seeing these excessive heat warnings, heat advisories, even for our Bay Area communities. This heat advisory does remain in effect through next Wednesday as well. With the heat risk today still very high as we are expecting temperatures in our inland East Bay communities to get around 100 degrees. But yesterday, we were off the charts, so we'll take the slightly cooler weather, even though triple digits is still dangerous. By tomorrow, that's even lower, just that elevated risk for heat illness. And then by the next day, Tuesday, check out how low it goes. We really don't have much high risk for heat illness by Tuesday. That's not to say that the heat is not going to be on afterwards as this area of high pressure continues to push further and further east. And hopefully by Friday, this cold front will finally bring us all some sort of relief. But our inland East Bay communities, again, are going to continue to feel the heat while San Francisco 70 today, mid to upper 60s tomorrow. It kind of depends on where you are, how much heat you're going to be feeling. But, you know, in the North Bay, upper 90s, that is still hot, especially for this time of year likely not going to reach the triple digits like we did yesterday. So again, all relative. Similar story with the inland East Bay communities that reached 110 degrees in some locations. Upper 90s. We'll take it. Again, it is still hot. It is still one of those days that you have to practice heat safety. It is just slightly less oppressive than yesterday. So again, all relative for this time of year. It's still going to be hot, but I like to look on the bright side of things. We'll take upper 90s versus well above 110 degrees. It might be a good day to maybe go into San Francisco, for example, yes. for the Fillmore Jazz Fest, something oh. like that, which is a little bit cooler than yes. some of the other parts of the Bay Area. Do be aware, though, that fog is likely going to stick around, especially closer to the coast. All right, Zoe, appreciate it. We'll check in in a little bit.